Welcome to The Scoop. And today we are so fortunate uh, to have our Bishop, our Reverend Julian Chula. Uh, Reverend, there's so much going around. Yeah. Uh, this is the state of the nation. And we're trying to figure out what is really happening and what should believers be doing at this time. I think, thank you so much, Pastor Don. And uh, it's a joy to be on the show with you. I'm, I'm looking forward to just a lot that God is doing within the church community and particularly within uh, your church. And thank mm. you so much for having me on The Scoop. Um, the, the biggest danger for any nation is a place of anxiety, a place of fear. Sure. And um, it's, it's good to see that as much as there's a lot going on in Kenya, people are courageous enough to still be moving around with yeah. caution. Yeah. And uh, so the truth is anxiety is one of the biggest dangers a nation or a people can have. Yeah. Fear is not our portion. Amen. And that might be one of the things that's happened across the world. Yes, absolutely. Yes. absolutely. There's so much uh, going around in the media and, and now even with this, you know, people being asked to stay behind, uh, you don't have to leave the house or you, you can work from the house. Uh, there's so much that we're watching in the media today. Mm. Um, as believers, you know, what do we take in? What don't we take in? What yeah. do we consume? What don't, should we not consume? Yeah. So when Jesus talked to his disciples, he said, go, every one of you. Don't carry a purse. Don't carry a change of clothes. Just go. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And they did it. And they came back and gave a report about what was happening. And there was supply. There was provision. Yes. I think one of the biggest tests for first the believers and then those who are non-believers, but for the believers, the test we're all going to go through is whether we trust God, mm -hmm. whether we trust Him as a provider, yes. Yes. whether we know Him as a father that can provide for His children, and then to the next level, whether we're able to deliver on the purpose for which He created us for. Yes. So to the question as to what we should do, we should lean more on God. Amen. And we should know that, yes, we can't just sit waiting, but we must hear clearly what we should do mm -hmm. and hear his voice because he says, trust not, lean not on your own understanding. Yes. And what we're doing a lot of right now is our own understanding. Yes. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 3. Yeah. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And Corona has not caught God by surprise. That's right. That's the, right. The, but the anxiety in the world and how we react that's not God's choice. That's our choice. Mm -hmm. So faith comes by hearing. Yes. What are we hearing? Yes. If you hear more CNN than you hear God, yes. then you will result into what the world is doing yes. instead of what God is saying. Absolutely. Amen. Well said. Well said. So I'm, I'm sitting at home with my family yeah. uh, and, and my kids uh, come up and say, this thing, you know, everyone's talking about coronavirus. Uh, Daddy, what's going to happen to us? Mm. Uh, how do we encourage uh, yeah. our young ones in the house? The Bible says train up a child in the way they should go. So if a father is anxious, the children will grow up as anxious people. So That's I think right. this is also a good test for us yes. as leaders in a home to demonstrate courage, boldness, not carelessness. I'm not saying go out and throw yourself out and say, Corona, you have nothing on me. No, uh, but demonstrate faith, mm. demonstrate the word of God, demonstrate um, the wisdom of God to the yeah. children, teach yeah. them how to pray yeah. in a situation like this. I Absolutely. mean, this is the time for us to be priests yes. in the home. Yes. It's also allowed us to spend time with our families. Yes. And so this is also a time for families to enhance their relationship mm -hmm. because the world is moving so fast. Mm -hmm. This has slowed us down a little to start also recognizing what are the important things in life. So. Let the children know that they are the most important thing Amen. at this time. And um, that's, that's the way I believe it should go. Well, it's time for families to spend time together, I guess. That's and, right. And, and also to demonstrate to the kids and you know, to, to everyone in the home that God is still sitting on the throne. Yes. That he's unshaken. That uh, nothing, like you said, has caught him by surprise. That's right. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Pastor Don.